Welcome to All Signs Tarot. This is a daily love reading for the 4th of April 2022 for the sign of Cancer. Holy Spirit, show me the Cancers who need to hear the Cancerians, sorry, the Cancerians who need to hear these messages today. Show me the Cancerians who need to, that sounds weird. I don't know, sorry. <laughs> show me the Cancerian Cancerians who need to, it's like you sound, it's like you're from another planet. There you go. The Cancerians. Knight of Pentacles. So you could have Taurus or Virgo in your chart. You feel stuck for some reason. What's going on? Also, you could be working very hard on something, but you don't see it paying off. Why are you stuck? Two of Cups reversed. You could be upset, Eight of Pentacles. You could be upset because of um, a breakup. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Uh, you could be very upset because of a breakup and you're working really hard kind of like to uh, forget about it so you don't have to focus so much on it. And uh, you could feel like your finances are suffering because of the separation too. This could be also the family members are kind of like putting blockages in your way. Why do you feel so stuck? Let's see. So we've got Queen of Swords. You feel very hurt. So, okay, whatever job you do might be very creative. Might require a lot of creativity, a lot of work. And because you're upset, you could be very depressed because you separated from somebody. And that's why your, your work is suffering. Six of Cups. You might have children too or a child that you need to take care of. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you might have two children actually. One or two children that you need to take care of. Knight of Wands reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. Yeah, this could be you and your child basically. And uh, you feel both of you could be depressed. You could feel uninspired because you're depressed. You're upset. Knight of Cups. There could be somebody who wants to help you here with the Knight of Cups. Also, this could be you and your two children. I don't know. Um, who is the Knight of Cups here? Who is the Knight of Cups? The, the Five of Wands reversed. Somebody might want to end some kind of conflict for you. This could be somebody you had a conflict with or somebody who wants to help you get out of conflict. Who is the Knight of Cups, please? Clarify the Knight of Cups. What are their intentions? Wow. Six of Wands. They want to have victory. 56 could be significant. Also, the, the 5th of June or the 6th of May could be significant. What kind of victory? This could be somebody who hurt you in the past. Who wants to come back and have some kind of victory here. This could be the person who left you. Who is this person? What do they want? Is this person trying to help you? Seven of Swords. They want to steal something from you. There's something that you hold very dear to you. I don't know if it's money or something else, but this person is trying to steal something from you. This person might pretend to, to, to want to help, but they're coming to steal. This could be a scammer. The Fool, the King of Cups, the Eight of Cups. Ace of Wands. Um, uh, this person might just want to have some kind of fling with you. It could be. This could be somebody, could be a Scorpio here with the King of Cups and the Eight of Cups. This is Aries energy, Aries energy, Scorpio energy. Both Aries and Scorpio are governed by Mars. So this is definitely a man. This is somebody with a very masculine energy here. But this man, uh, they might say that they care about you, but they just want to sleep with you and possibly steal something from you. So you, you need to be uh, warned that there could be a love scammer. Yes, it's a love scam. It, it, th this person could see that you're struggling, that you could be working a lot, that you have the children, 
that you have to take care of and they're coming to say that they want to help you but they're actually coming to steal from whatever you've been working on very hard ace of cups nine of cups king of pentacles three of pentacles ten of swords yeah so this person is gonna is pretending to have a lot of money but this could be because this is a scammer this is somebody who could have made money by scamming other women like you, hardworking women who might not have a lot, but uh, who have something to steal, right? So this man, that's how this man makes their um, abundance here. That's how they became rich, by scamming uh, hardworking women. So he's coming in as your benefactor, as if he's trying to help you financially and all that. Nine, 19 is the sun in the major arcana so it's like this could be somebody who's very flashy very attractive they might um it's like i'm i'm hearing all that glitters isn't gold right we've got the king of pentacles here the king of gold and the sun flashy shiny like the sun the, the coin is flashing in the sun blah 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 you know what i mean i'm getting a vision here so this person uh, is coming in pretending to be your savior right to be very loving, but it's actually a scam. They're coming in to steal. Ten of Swords, it's going to end up like this. They're going to betray you. They're going to pretend, maybe they, they might even say that they want you to work with them on something. But it's like they're coming to steal your work or your livelihood. King of Swords, yeah, this person is very uh, calculating. They're going to cut you off. At first, they're going to pretend like they're uh, there to help you, that they want to give you a job, they want to give you this, they want to do that. They might want to collaborate with you on a project, and then they're going to betray you. So this is like, um, they see you struggling and they're pretending to want to help. Yes, King of Wands, the Fool. This person's a player. It's like uh, Casanova. Also, King of Pentacles... Like I was saying, I was getting somebody who's very flashy. This person could be very flashy. They could really stand out. The way they dress, the way they speak, the way they look really stands out. And um, this person might have a level of notoriety, maybe even fame. It's, it could be kind of like a celebrity scammer or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, not necessarily a celebrity, but it's somebody very popular anyway. Is this like a celebrity catfish? Is this a celebrity cat? Yes, it is. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. A celebrity catfish that's coming towards you. And yeah, they're going to be like, whoa, it's like God's gift to you. But it's not God's gift to you. It's a scam. This could be, if you're a fan of this person, especially, this is... A special message if you are actually a fan of this person, if this is some kind of famous person that you admire, then uh, this person might be coming towards you because they realize that you're a fan. Maybe you posted things about them. Maybe you posted things that make them realize that you're a fan of theirs. And that's why they're coming towards you, okay? Am I right about this crap? Am I right? Is this the, the message here? Anyway, you got it. You got the gist of it. So, yeah. Anything else? Anything else? I think that's all. I think that's the message for you, Cancer. Because nothing else is coming out. Ten of Wands. This person's a burden. The, this person could be burdened. It's, it's them who needs help, not you, basically. Anyway, even if you need help, you not, don't need it from this person because this person is coming in to steal, not to give. So you need to drop them. That's the idea. Drop the burden. This person is the burden. Okay? I hope this helps. Take care.